Good morning, afternoon, or evening. How y'all doing today? Welcome back to Mr. Morrow's Algebra 1 and 2 class. Today we're going to start talking about equations. And in specific, we're going to learn about single step equations. Pretty simple stuff. It's a single step. So let's learn it. First of all, when we're dealing with any type of equation, let's be clear about that, you have one simple goal. And the goal is to isolate a variable, get a variable all by itself, basically. Okay? That's what you want to do. You want to isolate that variable. But what does that mean exactly? Well, when I say you want to isolate the variable, get the variable all by itself, you want to solve for x. That means it's x over 1. As you can see, x is positive, okay? And it's in the numerator. That's why I put x over 1. You're solving simply for x. And remember, there's a 1 underneath it. Important note. Just like doing weights, whatever operation is performed on one side of an equation must also be done on the other side of the equation. So let's say that you're bench pressing, okay? And you put 25 pounds on the left side and 25 pounds on the right side. That's fine. You work out. Now, you want to increase the weight. Do you go ahead and just put 10 pounds on the left side? No, right? If you add 10 pounds to the left side, you've got to add 10 pounds to the right side. So whatever you do, whatever operation you do to one side of the equation must be done to the other side. And now the steps for solving single step equations are very simple. Number one, if you have something being added to x, you undo or cancel out addition with subtraction. If you have something being subtracted from x, you undo subtraction with addition. If something is being divided to x, you cancel division with multiplication. And if something is being multiplied to x, rather, you cancel it with division. And if something is being divided to x, you undo or cancel division with multiplication. So again, you undo or cancel addition with subtraction. You undo or cancel subtraction with addition. You undo or cancel multiplication with division. And you undo division with multiplication. So let's do it. Let's solve each equation using our single step rules. So I have 27 plus n. Well, I have a 27 here that's being added to n. So I'm going to have to subtract 27 to both sides, OK? Because again, whatever I do to one side of the equation, I must do to the other side of the equation. 27 minus 27, this cancels. I'm left with an n equals 46 minus 27, which is going to be 19. So n equals 19. The beauty of equations is you can plug it back in and check. So if I plug it back in and I say 27 plus 19, that will equal 46, so it works, n equals 19. You don't have to check always, but it is a great way to make sure that you're doing it correctly. It's a great way to check a test or a quiz or any work that you're doing. Number two, 4 equals q plus 13. Well, I want to get rid of that positive 13 by subtracting 13 to both sides. 13 is cancel, so I have q equals 4 plus a negative 13, the signs are opposite, so you subtract as normal and keep the sign of the largest absolute value, so that would be negative 9. Number 3, j minus 3 equals negative 7. I want to cancel out this negative 7 by adding 3 to both sides. So j, because the 3 is cancel, equals negative 7 plus 3, which is negative 4. Again, you can plug all of these in to make sure that you are correct. Number four, we threw some decimals in there. I just didn't want you to think that this only applied to integers or whole numbers. I have negative 2.5 equals p plus 7.1. So I'm going to, sorry about that. So I'm going to cancel out the positive 7.1 by subtracting 7.1 to both sides. 7.1's cancel. p equals the sign to the same, so you're going to add and keep the sign negative 9.6.
Number five, y minus 19 equals 37. I'm going to cancel out subtraction with addition. So I'm going to add 19 to both sides. y will equal 37 plus 19, which is 56. Number six. Now we're going to multiplication. Negative 7 times y equals 28. Negative 7 is being multiplied to y, so I'm going to divide negative 7 to both sides because I cancel multiplication with division. y equals negative 4. Negative 96 equals 4x. I want to cancel out this 4 that's being multiplied to x, so I divide 4 to both sides, and x will equal negative 24. Because 4 divided by 4 cancels, I'm left with an x, and negative 96 divided by 4 is negative 24. Number 8, I've got m divided by 7 minus 12. Oh, wait a second. Let's go ahead and say this equals uh, 3. Sorry about that. So m divided by 7 minus 12 equals 3. Okay, actually, this is a two-step equation. Wait a second. I made a mistake. This should be m over 7 equals 12. My bad. This is a one-step equation. So the relationship between m and 7 is, is division. So how do I get rid of this 7 in the denominator that's being divided? Well, I'm going to go ahead and cancel it out with multiplication. So I'm going to multiply both sides by 7 over 1. I'm multiplying by 7 over 1 to illustrate that I'm multiplying 7 to the numerator. So the 7s cancel out. I'm left with m equals 12 times 7 is 84. Number nine, I got k divided by 4 equals negative 17 over 2. I have a 4 in the denominator that's being divided, so I'm going to multiply 4 over 1 to both sides. These 4s cancel. k equals 2 goes into 2 one time, 2 goes into 4 two times. k equals negative 34. 10, I got 2x equals negative 24. The relationship between the 2 and the x is multiplication. I cancel multiplication with division, so I'm going to divide 2 to both sides. x equals negative 12. All right. Good stuff. Let's continue. I got 2 thirds equals 18. Okay. Now, in this case, 2 thirds is being multiplied to x. So in order to get rid of multiplication, I have to divide. So I'm going to divide both sides by 2 thirds. So I'm going to divide both sides by 2 thirds. 2 thirds divided by 2 thirds cancels. So I'm left with x equals stay, change, flip. 2 goes into 2 one time, 2 goes into nine, 18 nine times, 9 times 3, x equals 27. Okay? Now that's the, the technical way to do it. However, since we're dividing fractions, when you're dividing fractions, aren't you really multiplying by the reciprocal? So when you have a one-step equation, it's much easier to just realize, I've got two-thirds being multiplied to x. How do I cancel that? Well, I can multiply both sides by the reciprocal of 3 over 2 and get it done in one step. The 3's cancel, the 2's cancel, x equals 2 goes into 2 one time, 2 goes into 18 nine times, 27, it's a lot easier. This is great when you have a one-step equation. For example, you got 3 fourths x equals 9. Well, 3 fourths is being multiplied to x. How do I cancel out multiplication? By division, but when I divide fractions, I can simply multiply by the reciprocal. So I'm going to multiply both sides by 4 thirds. Remember, this 9 has a denominator of 1. 4s cancel, 3s cancel. X equals 3 goes into 3 one time, 3 goes into 9 three times. That's 12. Number 13. I got 2 fifths equals 4 sevenths. 2 fifths is being multiplied to X. This is a single step equation. I cancel out multiplication with division, but when I'm dividing fractions, I simply have to multiply by the reciprocal. So I'm going to multiply 5 halves to both sides. The 5 and the 2 cancel. I have x equals 2 goes into 2 one time, 2 goes into 4 two times. That's 10 sevenths in a mixed number. It's 1 and 3 sevenths. Either one will be fine unless they specify a specific type of way they want you to express the answer. Now, oh, sorry about that. 
Now, in this particular case, I got 2 and 2 thirds x equals 12 fifteenths. Well, we know that we can't multiply or divide mixed numbers, so the first thing I want to do is convert this to an improper fraction, which is going to be 8 thirds x equals 12 fifteenths. I have a fraction being multiplied to a variable, so I cancel multiplication with division, but when I'm dividing fractions, I'm really multiplying by the reciprocal, so I'm going to multiply 3 eighths to both sides. 3 eighths times 8 thirds cancel. I'm left with x equals 3 goes into 3 one time, 3 goes into 15 five times, 4 goes into 8 two times, 4 goes into 12 three times, and my answer is 3 tenths. All right. Remember, if I'm going too fast, simply pause. I have 2 sevenths equals 1 third plus A. Well, this 1 third is being added to A, so I'm going to subtract 1 third to both sides. Common denominators. Okay, so what I'm going to have here is this will become, the common denominator is 14. So I've got to multiply this guy by a 2 over 2, giving me 4 fourteenths. And this guy i got to multiply by a, uh, I'm sorry, it's not 14, it's 21. My bad. My bad. Sorry about that. It's 21. So I'm going to multiply 3 over 3 to top and bottom here, giving me 6 21st minus. I'm going to multiply 7 over 7 here, giving me 7 thirds. I can't borrow here, okay? And this equals A. I cannot borrow because I don't have a whole number. And this should be 21. So I can't borrow because I don't have a whole number. So I just use my integer rules. When the signs are opposite, you subtract as normal and keep the sign of the largest absolute value. So 7 21st minus 6 21st equals negative 1 21st, which equals A. Okay, X minus 4 and 2 thirds equals 2 and 2 thirds. I cancel out subtraction with addition. So I'm going to, sorry about that, I know what's going on with my board. I'm going to add 4 and 2 thirds to both sides. So these guys cancel and I have x equals, I have common denominators already, I'm ready to rock and roll. 2, two plus 4 is 6, 2 thirds plus 2 thirds is 4 thirds. This is still an improper fraction. That turns into 1 and 1 third plus 6, so that equals 7 and 1 third, which equals x. Number 17, I got negative 5.3 plus y equals 8.9. I'm going to get rid of this negative 5.3 by completing the opposite operation, so I'm going to add 5.3 to both sides. 5.3 is cancel. y equals 14.2. And last but not least, got h plus 2.8 equals negative 3.7. I cancel out addition with subtraction, so I'm going to subtract 2.8 to both sides. So h will equal, uh, that's 5, 1, negative 6.5. And there you have it, single step equations, nice and easy. Thank you so very much. I hope you learned a lot, and have a great day. Bye-bye now.